I've gone from five million pattern pieces in the last three months to create that, which was 100% worth it. Like that was the coolest project I've ever done in my life. And it has made me feel so, so good about what I've done in the last two years of just teaching myself how to sew. Because when I look at that, that just says to me that I didn't waste my time. I did figure it out and I got something out of it. But the project's done, and after a really big project like that, even though it made me feel so cool and awesome and everything, I need a simple project, something that is incredibly doable. And also, one of the big purposes of me learning how to sew and figuring out all of this is that I, I want to wear my clothing that I sew on a daily basis. And as cool as that is, that, that, that's not um, a day-to-day -day outfit for me. That's not my life. Now, if anyone wants to get me a castle and have me just run around in, in that, in, it, I'm sure I can figure that out emotionally. That sounds like a great plan. But until that point happens in my life where I have a castle that is appropriate to the dress, I'm going to need something maybe a little bit more 1935. This part of my sewing journey has been almost entirely based within the Haslam system of dress cutting. I've been teaching myself how to draft vintage patterns based upon a system that was developed for the home sewist of the time. Over the last two years, I've refined what is called either a block, moulange, or sloper. It's basically flat me with a touch of ease. I'm able to take this flat me pattern and draw around it and have my sewing fit me perfect every time. Although the Haslam patterns always give a ton of shaping and detail regarding the waist, I'm actually more of a fan of skipping that and going with your best fit darts and zipper placement and only really use the changes that give the skirt personality. There's no reason to keep redrawing the exact same concept over and over and over. In this case, I trace the front and the back, determine the length, shape the bottom of the skirt, add the cool front button flap thing, and determine the waistband. Now I'm not entirely sure how this happened because historically speaking, when people have asked me, how long does it take you to make something? I have had to say that it honestly usually takes me about a day to draft a pattern, give or take when it comes to, you know, how complex, complicated it is. But even a skirt can end up taking an entire day if for some reason you just cannot figure out how to do the math, that, that you just keep on remeasuring it and things just keep on coming out wonky. And, but that's not what happened today. I drafted my pattern in about an hour and a half and it went really well. Even the tiny little things where I was like, wait, what? No, 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 you have to redo that. It went very fast. Like the fixes were very much a, I see what I did, that is incorrect, I'm going to fix it. Oh look, it's fixed. So I'm getting faster at it and I'm, I'm looking at the time going, I, I still have time before I need to make dinner. I think what I'm going to do, I guess, is just cut out the fabric because normally I, I thought this was gonna take longer, but it didn't. So I'm gonna cut everything out and I'm gonna start sewing it together. And yeah. The big question about this is how I'm going to do the finishing right here. This ends up being inside the waistband. I'll probably actually only need half an inch, not a full inch. I'm going to do a full inch out here and plan on half an inch of ease and half an inch of seam allowance. So the seam is going to end up being right there. But on this side, I, this goes and overlaps like this right here overlaps. This is a very clean edge. If I start doing bulk though, this is gonna raise up and it's not gonna lay nice. So I have a thought, I'm gonna do this. I think that this sewn right there on the edge is gonna look absolutely fantastic. So this skirt actually just got more simple. I'm going to cut it directly along this line, no seam allowance 
at all. I'm going to lift this part up then and on the inside, the left side, because this is going to be, uh, I'm sorry, this will be the left side and then the other layer here is on the right and that goes under. Yeah, I'm just going to cut down the center line right there and then this goes over it and then there's that's the least amount of bulk that I can do. Yeah, I've, I've ran this through my head. I like this. Moving on. Okay, it is the next day and I have woken up to a clean sewing room that is prepped and ready for me to go. This feels incredibly welcoming and I need to remember that every time that at the end of the day, I sort of put everything in a position so that I can walk down and go, oh yeah, I'm just supposed to start and do this and I don't have to clean up from past me, I do better. Okay, this is what I have found for myself. I have found the back of the skirt put together and a zipper sank in. It's done, it's beautiful. I've got a waistband cut out. And then on the other table, I have, this is the front of the skirt. I can tell that I had one side slightly get a little scrunched out while I was cutting. So I had to even out the front of this, which is okay because I know that the back is supposed to be just, just a hair longer. Although the front of this, when you look at the pattern, or at least the picture of the, uh, the result, it looks like this is a button up situation and somehow this closes in the front. It does not, it's not going to, it's not gonna lay nicely. So what we're going to do is create that overlap that does not open at all and that will lay beautiful except for right down here. This is going to be sewn doo -doo -doo, to about here, fake button, real button, real button, and this will open in the front. That's how that's gonna work. I'm a little surprised, but it took me uh, two days to finish this. So this is my 1930s uh, skirt that is wool, warm, and I am ready for winter. Let's do this. Okay, everyone, and here we are. I've got the hem, I've got this. I have shoes that will go with this. This is absolutely lovely and it fits. I'm thrilled, done.